Hey everybody, it's Ryan here from Magic Pulse. I'm here to do my review on the ZTE Axon. Now this is a newer device in Canada recently. Um, and ZTE's been doing some really good products lately and really kind of capturing our attention. So I was really interested to try this one out. Immediately you're going to feel that it's a, definitely a solid feel in the hand. It definitely feels, the aluminum body feels really nice. Um, you know, nice sturdy feel to it that you're not saying, oh wow, this is too heavy or too thick. I mean... It's funny just listening to a conversation the other day talking about people how thin is the new thing and everybody's trying to get thinner, but nobody really cares if their phone's too thick unless it's crazy. So let's go around the device. Um, it's got speakers on top and bottom, but this is only for, top speakers are only for phone calls and that's the bottom speaker for the loudspeaker. So it isn't a stereo device. We have a camera button. So if we double press it twice, brings us into the camera mode. Talk more about that later. Power button, we have our SIM tray, an SD slot, and then we have the volume control. There we go. So turning it on, we also have basically of what looks like a very AOSP ROM. I mean, this everything looks pretty much standard uh, Android. So almost Nexus without uh, the customized Android, um, customized Google of uh, apps that are in it. So everything else looks exactly the same as you would expect it. Um, like the pull down shade, just exactly the same as you'd expect in almost a Nexus, just some customization, not much. A little bit here. Um, you can customize a few things in here. One thing being the little circle at the bottom here, and you can notice that it really, you really can't see it in there. So, I don't know why it's not showing up now. Let's play out the settings again, how I got it to do this, but. Um, there's two buttons on the other side, kind of like those other ZT Grand X devices that we can set it to be back or multi and then there, but they're not showing up. And it was in settings. Let me just go ahead and find this. Just so you guys can see what, what you can do in here. So navigation key. So you can pick, you know, which one you want them to be. That's why I do find it's always a little bit trickier because you gotta find the right spot. Um, display we go on the navigation key light display and we always leave it on for five seconds how about that but it's just it's just ever so hard to make it out i don't know if it's just something wrong with the light but i don't know could be done a lot better i've seen a lot better implementation in that stuff but other than that this device actually hums quite well i mean for it is a, an older processor. This is the 801 processor, Snapdragon. So it's the same as the G3. Uh, same 32 gig space, same 2 gig RAM. Um, so not a, a lot of dis, you know powerhouse in it. But it actually hums along just fine. I've been playing a few games on here, and it works just fine. The sound actually is really good as well. i got to admit, the sound is pretty good. And I find I've had to actually turn it down in certain situations. But even the, the minimum sound is kind of too loud. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, otherwise, the camera mode is what people tend to like to look at these features. Now, what's kind of neat, depending on how you like it or not, is there's two cameras. This is the actual camera, the one on the bottom. This is your extra camera that they use for some sort of depth of field stuff. Kind of like in the, the Dell... When we saw the Dell had the um, the depth of field stuff on it, so they could, you know, determine distances. They use it for bokeh effects, so you can play around with, you know, your depth of field and sort of play around with that if you wanted to. Uh, and there's this ZT device we had with that manual mode, or uh, sorry, the <clears throat> multi-motive uh, field. Let me just go back into it. Multi-exposure field, so you can take one photo and then kind of overlay it with another photo. I don't know why you'd want to, and then kind of make that feature. And they have a bunch of really cool different styles you can use that are in there. Slow motion effect, panorama, those kind of manual mode, which more and more people are starting to look at manual mode. So you can play around with shutter speed. You can play around with ISO, different lighting of features. So a lot of cool things you can start playing around with in here that I kind of really enjoyed 
that um, you know you don't get on a lot of other devices or something. Like that. So got a really fun camera. Um, so that's it basically for the time being. We will uh, do a full review on the website. So I hope you guys go read us there. And uh, if you have any questions, give us a shout. Okay, thanks so much.